everyone. This is Billy. Oh, I almost had a panic attack. Um, tape. I was looking for this mold and I knew I put it somewhere where I would know where it was and I didn't know where it was. And as the story goes, let me just start with that. I had just done a pour in a platter and I over did my resin. So, it's been sitting a while and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is my chance. This is my chance to try some flower blooms because it's getting warm and I've got to get with it. So, Julie, these are Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out. These are her molds and um, oh my gosh, please be proud of me. I'm just gonna try because I'm going by memory and my resin's warm. So maybe I can do a pretty bloom or two or three or four. Oh, yes. So clear resin at the bottom. That's the plan. Get it to the edges. These are her um, geode molds. Very pretty. And I'm not level, so let's take care of that real quick. I need, I need, why am I not level? I should be level. It's going that way. And it's going that way. There must be resin monsters or something that comes out at night and messes with you. Okay, let me just get this, and I've got thin steps here. Look how thick that's getting. So, move to the edges really quickly. I've got, uh, I had, I had this. Not that one, there was a dirty one. I was just gonna use it, this one here. I'm gonna throw some uh, purple or pink, whatever's handy. Pink, purple, let's do purple. A little purple violet uh, glitter. Don't need much. Just gonna make some centers. This is, oh gosh, this is Billy under pressure. Okay. Usually I don't get under pressure too much. But this is so new to me, and I'm just loving every bit of it. <laughs> but oh, I wonder about myself sometimes. But I want to get that out. I got to. I've got to get that glitter out of there. Let's just do this. What would Julie do? Julie would do that. Maybe scoop it out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, I have tools. Gosh. Use your tools, Billy. I don't want a flash cure. Those are nightmares. And you waste so much money or resin with when that happens. Okay, okay, okay. Garbage. Oh, I better see. This needs a little more. So I did use white, um, resin with some casting craft in it that's why i'm thinking oh gosh this is the time to do a bloom because it's been sitting a while it's getting thick i'm not going to worry about the temperature i'm just going to go for it so this um i'm using my amazing um clear cast and it's good for 45 minutes but um working time it's a one-to-one -one ratio but i have overextended my working time so, I'm just going to try to eyeball the center here. A little glitter. And, oh, I've been wanting to do these for so long and I didn't have the courage. And now it's not courage, it's uh, time frame. Time frame. See what happens when you procrastinate. Whoops, and I am the best. That might have a big bloom big center. Come on you, over here. Over here. This might have a big one too. We'll just use it. 
and Julie, oh, she's amazing. And she's so, she's just a master. She's got it so down pat. I mean, you never hear her uh, second guessing or panicking. So um, if you want to learn about resin, you watch Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out. She's in Australia and a very nice lady. When I ordered my molds from her, she was generous and sent me a lovely gift, which I did not expect. And it wasn't just, you know, a trinket gift or anything like that. It was actually molds she sent me, um, which I thought, oh my gosh, just what I wanted, but I haven't used them either. It's going to be a big, oh well, we're doing big centers because I'm not wasting this. Okay. Whoop. Ah. All right. Scoot you over. Clean stick. Scoot you over. Scoot you over. Okay, we've got to go with it. We've just got to go with it. So, what I've done. Got some purple here, and I'm going to try to make, does she do the colored first? I'm not sure. Look how thick, oh no, 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 dang it. Well, that's going to be a thick petal. Try here. Maybe just enough. six petals. Look at it blooming already and I don't even have the white in here. I've seen her do this with piping bags. Let's go over here a little more. Since this one's so thick, And they're blooming. Okay, they're blooming, Billy. Now, oh, I need this in a cup that I can pinch. Let's just save the day and do that. Sorry about a view. Oh, gosh. My first experience with a bloom. I'm so excited. I'm nervous. I'm, uh, oh. Anticipation. Okay. Let's see. What can happen? What can happen? I wish that one wasn't so thick. We're just going to go over. Oh, don't go big. Don't go big, blobby. Oh, shoot. Come on. Pour. Pour. This is going to be the underneath. No, it isn't. Yes, this is going to be the underneath. Our flower, the beautiful flower, these will become, will be on the other side. Oh, look at how my glitter moved. Pretty colors, though, aren't they? I had a light lavender, but I used it all. I think I should have been inside. I have a little left. I have a little left. Did I use the other up? Oh, I did not. Here. Let's go here. Inside. Come on, there's just enough maybe for one flower. That's not very good. It's thick, isn't it? Come on, you. 
No. Well, oops, I did it again. I'll have to try it with the piping bags and when I'm not um, scurry in here like a nutcase trying to get this done. Who needs a little more purple? Okay. A little white. Let's go white on the outside. Let's go over here. And she does say not to bring the white or the any color of your bloom up to the very edge of the mold. Then it stops it from, you know, blooming out. So we'll try that. That's going to be a glob. Oh, pay attention. Okay, me. Me pay attention. If you take your time, it'll just fall where it's supposed to fall. Oh, too late on that. Look at just enough. I still have a lot of resin left. Clear resin. Some on the outside. Oh, it's close. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Now, I've seen the experts do something. Well, look, I still have. Oh, what should I do with this white? Should I swirl the glitter? That's a possibility, too. Let's see. Let's do that. Get a little squirrel and swirl and get these globs off of there. Alright, I am going to bring these to the, these petals to the center um, to get rid of some of that those white blobs. Um, and these uh, coasters are not full, so I could do a um, top coat on the back. Let's see where we. Oh, look at that. What do I do now? Just wait? Oh. There's glitter. Well, the glitter's going to be moving around. I'll mess it up. Well, I probably better not. Okay. Whew. Oh, look at the little heart in the middle. Let's do something with that. Oh, God, how warm is that getting? This. I'm going to have a flash carrier. Oh, kids, I gotta do something like that. Stir it. Don't care on me. And I've got a good, oh God, half a cup. All right. Speaking of little pendants. Purple. Oh, I forgot to heat it. I forgot to take the heat gun and push my petals. Let's see what happens. That'll be just one big purple blob or white blob under there, I bet. Ah! Oh gosh. Okay. Billy's in rare, rare mode here. Okay, I'm going to carry on to another rush project. Okay, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Let me see you when these are finished. Yay. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Be sure to like and subscribe. Take good care and have a great day. Bye. Hi, everyone. I just had to show you this real quick. They are blooming, and I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. 
Well, I'm just tickled purple. Tickled purple. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait. Ooh, maybe I can demold them tonight. Oh my gosh. Okay, thanks for joining me. This is an update and I'm so thrilled about it. Catch you later. Bye. Hi everyone. I'm back with my um, purple violet coasters with the blooms. I'm uh, quite excited, but I'm not going to demold them now. I um, need to put another coat or layer of resin on. Um, I was contemplating what color to do it in, um, but I'm sh I just don't want to miss any of what's been happening. Look at how beautifully they bloomed. Look at that. I'm just amazed. So excited, but I'm going to let them, I'm going to just have them clear with a, um, I'll put a silver trim on the edges, but I think I just want to go clear with these and, uh, you know, that way, well, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just do it that way. So I have another project, uh, to do after this one. So I mixed up oh, about three quarters of a cup of my amazing clear cast resin and it is bubbly because I did not even think to heat it up today. So pardon the air gun or the heat gun. I'm going to turn that on for just, they're not full. And they should be clean. Oh, uh, except I see it just as I said that I saw a piece of blue glitter but some of the glitter moved a little bit, but nothing to, um, you know, be concerned about. And look at the little heart, how that turned out. Isn't that cute? I'll just make a pendant out of that. But the white, um, even though there was a lot of white, it uh, did not, um, you know, make blobs. So I'm really glad about that. So that makes me think I don't, I probably don't have too many globs in this. So let me just quit talking and um, I'll get this going real quick. I just need to top it off and we'll just have them clear. What happened was as I made too much resin on a, the previous project that I need to work on, and it was getting warm when I was done with that. It was just warming up. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with this warm resin? I have to do something fast. And lo and behold, this is what happened. Because I was not ready to attempt the blooms. Um, made me nervous, actually. And... Oh my gosh, I need to make more resin for the second project we have going. Okay, let me see how far this takes me. And um, I do need to level this again. It's thick today because it's not heated up. I think this will dome it just nicely. Get it right to the edges. bubble. Do this one. Maybe this one has a little much in it. Spread it out. So I hope you're all well today. I was kind of lollygagging this morning. I figured, oh my gosh, I need to get cracking. I'm going to be gone next weekend, so I do need to have a video ready for you Sunday morning. Um, I'd like to get ahead of the game just a little bit so I can continue you know, to uh, put one out every Sunday and possibly mid midweek, but I need to get a little bit ahead, ahead of the game before I can do that. Like I said, I'm still learning my processing or getting it under control as far as my videos, my, you know, structure, music. Oh, there was a hair. I just wiped it off with that. Anyway, it's still a learning process and I am not ready to 
give this up. I just enjoy it so much. And I sure thank you for having me um, in your home. <clears throat> for those of you who have subscribed, uh, don't forget to like my videos if you possibly do, because that helps my, my channel grow and tells YouTube that um, you're liking my content. So I appreciate that. That's my little plug for the day. And I do need a little more in here. So next weekend, I've got a music uh, gig out of town. And then the following weekend is that uh, Spring Fling Easter show. So I'll be very busy. And then I have company coming a uh, week after that. And then I have another friend coming. Oh gosh, she's going to be here for over a week with me. So... Um, I'm excited about that. That's my friend Linda, who we made the clock for. And it's always nice to have her here. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, let me just look across this and see how, how they look. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Um, let me turn the heat gun, heat gun on for just a second. Pardon me. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a little obnoxious, one. isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to go around the edges um, and see if we can break up any bubbles that are lingering. And there's that hair right there. Oh, it looks like an eyelash. I did not get it. Okay, where'd you go? I can't see it now. I can't tell if I got it. Oh, gosh, there it is. Oh, it's not wanting to... It's not wanting me to get it. Gosh, it, either it's one long hair. Oh. Dang it, I just about had it. Let me get the tweezers. Okay, it's on the edge. I don't think I did it. Gosh, where's my handy dandy flashlight? I did get my new glasses, so I'm using them for, um, Resonating the frame wasn't that expensive, and uh, there it is. I don't want to ruin my good, good glasses, but I did find out that um, acetone because I asked my eye doctor, acetone will uh, take off take resin off of your eyeglasses. I asked him about that because you know I didn't know. If I could do that, and because uh, I did have a speck on my gl other glasses, and he said, no, that's fine, a little acetone, just be gentle. There, oh my gosh, is that it? I'm just moving it around. That must have been it. Oh, is it on here? Yes, okay. Problem solved. Oh, these are going to be so pretty. Oh, my first bloom. And these molds are from Juliet, pouring your heart out. Um, I went ahead and sent her a photo yesterday and said, look, look, my resin overheated and I didn't know what to do. And I thought, oh, I'm going to try a flower and your beautiful molds. And she answered me and said, they look great. They look great. So... I don't want to spritz alcohol on them. I know I could, but I don't want to. I don't want alcohol specks anywhere. Okay. Okay, my friends. I'm going to cover these up, and I will check on them for more bubbles. And uh, let's see. I just spotted something right here. 
Gosh, I just cleaned them. But you know how that goes. I have my uh, air purifier on and I did wear my mask when I was mixing. I always do. And uh, I have most everything I use listed in my descriptions. There's a little bubble wants to be hiding right down there. Got it. Let's see. Oh, this flashlight is so handy. Oh, big bubble right there. I don't want that around. Actually, that's from the previous pour. So I did discover if you punch a hole in that previous uh, bubble, like with a pin, this new resin will uh, settle into it and you'll, you'll never see it there. Okay, well I would say goodbye for now and I will see you shortly. I think by this evening these should be ready because last night they cured quite quickly. So until then, have a great afternoon. Bye. Good morning, everyone. This is Billy. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. I am ready to unmold these blooms. Oh, um, don't know where to start. My resin was getting hot. I needed to do something with it after a previous pour. Tried my first hand at some blooms, and I think they're going to be lovely. Um, I did a top coat on here, and I struggled with if whether or not I should have put a color on but I thought no I'm gonna leave them clear so I just did a clear coat and I'm ready to uh, demold these so let's get started there's the pretty little heart that comes in the center okay let's see I'll just demold them all first and before we flip them see what we have I'm so excited about this Put this aside. Okay. And here we go. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh my word, look at that. I did have a, a lot of glitter left uh, that was already in resin. Or No, I made some, didn't I? But I used up the glitter that was... Uh, just uh, hanging out with me, so, oh my word. Big middles, big middles, but oh, that's okay. Do this one. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, my glitter traveled a little bit, but oh my gosh, I can see the, oh, the delicate, delicate, delicate blooms. This one here. Julie, I'm so excited. I can do it. I can do it now. And this one here. Oh, they all look so good together. Here, look at that. See, I was uh, so unsure of myself as far as a background color went. And then I thought, well, what if I did a dark color? I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at that. I should have. That is pretty. Oh, with the black? Mm, I wasn't sure, but now I know. Oh, that shows it so much better. Now I know. Okay, oh gosh. Tickled, I'm just tickled purple. Tickled purple. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, just quickly go around my edges here. And they did come out pretty nicely. I'm gonna get the rough parts off the edges. Oh, there's some bubbles there. And then I am going to uh, do silver edging. So let me clean these up and I'll be right back. Bye. Well, that was easy to do. The edges were pretty clean. Um, these moles actually are uh, a little jagged like a geoid would be, 
But uh, I have my liquid silver pen and I am just going to go around my edges like this, all the way around. To shake this, this pen. Um, it's quite old, but there's still ink in it. I had trouble getting the lid off. But uh, I'm going to go ahead, finish these off, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Um, if I cannot get this pen to work, like I said, it's too old. I, I'll uh, I'll change up and go with my tester silver paint. So I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, everyone, I wanted to show you what I was doing. I did finish my edges um, of the coasters with the silver. I went ahead and uh, turned to my testers paint. I, um, I think I have more control with this small brush. It's a small angled brush. And because the coasters have rugged edges like a geode, it was easier to use the brush than the pen. The pen worked fine, but it was quicker for me to use um, the small brush. So anyway, all I have to do is this last one here, and I'm gonna show you how I go across, just go across the top with a fine line using my brush. And I just place these in a paper plate so I can turn it as need be, but I'm just going across the top edge there with a small silver line. And that's all there is to that. So, since I'm almost through, I'm gonna let these dry. I'll take them outside and show you a nice picture through the sunlight. And uh, we'll call it good. So I sure appreciate you joining me on this um, project. I didn't intend to do this project, but as you saw at the beginning of the video, um, I was just strapped with time and excess resin. So um, I think they turned out beautifully. And please subscribe and like my channel, and uh, that will help me grow. And comments are welcome, more than welcome. So I will say thank you, everyone, and have a great day. Until next time, bye. Well, here they are out in the sunlight, my beautiful blooms. That's my fence against the wall there. Let me get the all the rust my that's too it's not gonna work let me just walk around and see what would be a good good angle there you go